Hey everyone, this is Nate with a little tutorial for GameMaker on how to make a platform engine. This isn't for newbies to GameMaker because I'm going to be using GML or the scripting lang language for this program. Um, but we're going to start out by making a couple of uh, sprites here. One for the player and one for the solid block. Just going to design these real quick. I'll just make the player a uh, blue square. We'll get into more complicated sprites later, but uh, these are just developer art or programmer sprites, whatever you want to call them. And we'll just make the blocks black squares. Almost forgot, gotta name it. Now you might be wondering why I put SPR underscore. It just helps to categorize things, uh, especially when you're doing coding just so that you don't get all the objects and sprites, etc. mixed up. <clears throat> but you can call them whatever you want as long as you change things in the script according to whatever you name them. So anyway, so script, control, whatever you want to call it, but script control works for me. So this is going to go into the object player step event. So, object player. Step event. And we'll keep that open as we make object block. And we have to just make it solid. That's the only thing that matters for that. But anyway, this green text is called comments. Uh, they're totally optional, but they just kind of help to uh, split things up a bit so it's not just a uh, wall of code, you know what's what. So, for gravity, if place free and place free is if you're not standing or if uh, it's going to check for a certain amount of pixels either up, down, to the left, to the right, depending on what co coordinates you put it's going to check that there's a solid object there, so our block. <coughs> so if place free, x, we're not going to change x, but y plus 1 so one pixel below you. If one pixel below you is free of the block object, basically now we're going to put curly black brackets, sorry, uh, curly brackets, which separate basically cause and effect. I think if cause, then curly brackets effect. So you have if you, uh, the place one pixel below you is free of uh, solids, then your gravity will equal 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is just a good number to use. It's in most tutorials. Alright, so now that we have our gravity set up, we're just going to put in the controls. So, first it's going to be if keyboard check direct. So, if the right arrow key is pressed, VK underscore right, and put two ampersands, place free. So, if there's no blocks to our right, so x plus 4, y, x plus equals 4. So the cause in this would be if you press the right arrow key and if uh, the uh, place 4 pixels to the right of you is free of solid objects, then you will move 4 pixels to the right. Now since this is in the step event, it'll check for this every single frame. So, for every frame that you have the right arrow key pressed down, you will move uh, <coughs> four pixels to the right. It's a little bit complicated in concept, but it works. So, um, I'm just going to copy paste here because uh, that saves time. But we're going to just ch uh, change the positives here to negatives because uh, negative four is four pixels to the left. Now, then, for the jumping, if keyboard check pressed. Now why pressed? It'll only check if you're if you're currently uh, in the process of pressing down the key. So you can't just hold it down and you'll keep bouncing. You have to press it again. And I uh, I like to make it a uh, letter. So O R O R D and then in um, parentheses and single quotes Z and 
and it's going to now check if there's a block below us, so place, or actually no, you put exclamation mark, place, free, x, y plus 1, so if the place under us is not free of solids, so if we're standing on something, v speed, which is vertical speed, equals negative 6. And you can, of course, replace 6 with whatever. Same thing with the uh, right and left arrow keys. You can go whatever speed you want. Um, but make sure that the amount of free space that it checks for is the same that you'll move by. Alright, so now we can jump. So, I think that's all we need for now. So, in the step event, put script control in there, or whatever you called it. <sighs> now then, when the player collides with the block, we're just going to put in a small code here, so I'm not going to put one in scripts. Move, contact, solid. Direction, we'll put direction. And max distance, we'll put 12. Now V speed equals 0. Gravity equals 0. Alright then. There is something I forgot though in script control. We have to limit his vertical speed. To do this, if V speed is more than 12, that's the number that we set it to into move contact solid, V speed or vertical speed equals 12. So cause would be if our V speed or vertical speed is more than 12, then we will move by 12. So it can't be 13, it can't be 14. The fastest we can move by is 12. Okay, so now that all the programming's out of the way, we get to do the fun part, which is designing the little level now that we have all of our objects. Actually, that's a really bright color. That's killing my eyes. Um, let's just make it white. Alright, so put in our blocks. Okay. Now that we have our blocks in, we'll place the player in and test it out. Alright, seems to work. So, this has been Nate with Nate Makes Things. Thanks for watching, and I hope you're off to a good start with your first Game Maker platformer in GML.